Hi guys, it's Brittany. So, today will be a quiz video and I don't know what quiz it's going to be, but I think since, um, I'm thinking, um, one quiz, but yeah. So, it would have to be something. So, yeah, and of course, as I mentioned, I'll be doing more videos. Um, I'll make sure to do more videos each week. So, that I will do for sure. I think I might do a Stranger Things quiz because I think that'll be fun. Like, what character are you? Or something like that. Um, let's see. Okay, hang on. Yeah, just trying to. Um, just trying to look for a good quiz. Like, a good Stranger Things quiz. Oh, and for those who have seen it, how do you feel, you know, like the way it ended and everything? Because I thought it was great. You know, I really do. But yeah, I'm looking forward to season five. Like, I can't wait. Okay, this is a good one. Um, what do you surprise Stranger Things if you were one of the characters? Okay, I could do that. Would I survive? Um, I could do that. But then there's also, everyone is a combination of three Stranger Things characters. Who are you? Um, okay, I, can, I think I can go with that. Now, if you want to see me take the would you survive Stranger Things quiz, I would. <laughs> um, but this time this quiz is going to be a bit different because I did take would you survive screen quiz, which I did. And would you survive Jurassic Park? Turns out I didn't because I got trampled by a herd of brachiosauruses. And that just sounds like, ugh. That just sounds horrible because, you know, they have, you know, big feet. So it's like, if I got trampled on them, I would be literally crushed to death. And that, nah. But somehow, I do think I probably would survive Jurassic Park, but if you think I should retake that quiz, then I will. Um, okay, so... Yeah, so I'm taking this one. Everyone is a combination of three Stranger Things characters. Who are you? So, what would the genre be of the song that saves you from Vecna? Hip-hop, pop, indie, rock folk, something else. Um, I would say pop. Mm. Okay. Which volume 4 scene do you think is the most romantic? Joyce and Hopper's kiss? Max escaping Vecna? Vecna, I'm sorry. <laughs> Eddie's guitar solo? Mike's I love you speech? Uncovering Vecna's backstory, Copper and Eleven's reunion. Oh, the most iconic. Well, what did I say? Did I say romantic? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. If I did say, I think I did say that because I think I said which volume four, volume four scene do you think is the most romantic? But says here iconic, not romantic. Oh my mind I'm telling you like it's somewhere else right now um I think 
all of these are, but if I have to choose one, I would say um, Mike's I Love You speech. So pick one of these foods from the show. Scoops of Hawaii ice cream sundae, surfer boy pizza, egg waffles, glazed donut coffee, Benny's burgers, surfies. Hmm. Well, it says food though. So one of them is a dr drink, and that's Slurpees. Now I, I love Slurpees. Now I think today I think they're still called that, but I think there's a brand of Slurpees called Icy, and I love Icy. So I mean, I would go, I would choose that, but it says food. But this is particularly a drink. So oh, man, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> okay, hard to choose here. <sighs> okay, I was, I'll just go with Slurpee. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Which of these couples do you ship the most? Halper and Joyce, Eleven and Mike, Max and Lucas, Dustin and Susie, Nancy and Steve, uh, Nancy and Jonathan. Um... Oh gosh. Okay, this is hard because I do ship Hopper and Joyce, Eleven and Mike, Max and Lucas, Dustin and Susie. Although, um, I think before, I think I did ship Nancy and Jonathan, but now I think because we do see a bit more chemistry and some connection, we're not some, but we do see a connection between Nancy and Steve. I don't know. I think I would have to go with that because I think I would like them to to see them together. So, and who knows? It might like in season five, it just may go in that direction. So, if I have to, I would go with that. Pick a quote <clears throat> from volume four. Hold on to your butts, Broncos. Well, I like the whole hold on to your butts, because <laughs> that, that's something I've always heard, especially watch, from watching Jurassic Park. <laughs> um, even dream about breadsticks and lasagna. I'm actually going to graduate. I think it's my year. Oh, I think it's my year, Henderson. I think it's finally my year. I'm fine, okay? I mean, as fine as someone who's lane toward a gruesome death can be. I keep it open. I keep the door open three inches. I never stop believing. Believing. I feel like my life started that day we found you in the woods. Hmm. I would say... I would say I keep it open about when Eleven saying how she always kept the door open three inches because she never stopped believing that he was alive. So, yeah, I picked that. Pick a Stranger Things location to hang out. Star Court Mall, Family Video, Rinko Mania, Skull, Skull Rock, Palace Arcade, The Hawkins Post. Um, hmm. No, I would say Store Court Mall. Store? I star. Ugh. What season is your favorite? Ah, oh, why are you asking me? <laughs> this is a hard one. Why are you asking me which season's my favorite? Because the thing is, how can I have a favorite season when I just love the whole show as a whole in general? Like when I just just love season one, two, three, and four. How can you ask me? Like, I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll just, okay, so here are the options. Season one, season two, season three, 
Season 4, Volume 1, Season 4, Volume 2, so I'm like, okay, this is hard. Why are you trying to make me choose? Like, oh, what's your favorite season? Now, I do know there are some fans who probably do have a favorite season, although I don't, not, not because I don't like it or love it, I do, it's just that I just love the whole show where I feel like I just love season 1, 2, 3, and 4. So with me, it's like, how can I have this one favorite season when I just love it as a whole, you know, as a whole show in general? So I'll just choose this one where it says season 5 isn't here yet, but, but I know it'll be the best. So I'm going to go with that. <laughs> um... You're the new student at Hawkins High. Pick three words to describe yourself to the class. Okay. Okay, so... So each one uh, has these three words that I would describe myself. Nerdy, passionate, supportive. Um, organized, loyal, underestimated. Bold, sarcastic, leader. Determined, encouraging, dependable, unique adaptable, funny, independent, empathetic, strong. Now there are some of these words I do relate to because certain words that do describe myself such as organized. I am very organized person. I am loyal. I am bold. And I can be sarcastic at times. Not all the time, just sometimes. And I am determined. Like when I know I want to do something, I make sure I do it because I'm determined, you know, to do something. Um, encouraging, um, dependable. I am unique. I will admit that, and I think, as all of us, you know, for each and every one of us, we are all unique in our own way. Um, I am funny. Um, but am I only though? Like in a cute, funny way, which is kind of hard to describe. Um, I am independent, I am empathetic, strong, but I would, I think I would go with this too. I think I would go with nerdy, passionate, and supportive because when it comes to the things I like, I can be a nerd about it, you know, because I think we all are, I think we all, um, I think we all get nerdy about things that we like, things that we're a fan of, you know, no matter what it is, and I am passionate. I am like I am passionate about things that I love, you know, like um like movies and you know everything about movies and everything that goes into it, like not just the acting and the performances from the actors. Like yeah, I love that. But I also love the the music, you know, the music score that's composed by the music composers and just everything else like everything that just comes together and blends in so well that makes such a really great movie then yeah I'm just very passionate about movies and of course I'm also passionate about you know things that I want in my life you know so yeah I am like in general a, a passionate person about things that I that I like and things that I am quite fond of so yes, I am. And supportive. So I'm going to go with that. <clears throat> you and one other person have to fight a Demogorgon. Choose your fighter. Steve, Dustin, Max, Mike, Lucas. Well, um... Hmm. I would say Steve. Plot twist. One more character comes to help you out. Choose your second fighter. Nancy. <clears throat> Argo? Argo? Joyce, Robin, Jonathan, Murray. I was saying Nancy. <laughs> Pick a song from the show. Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. Master of Puppets by Mikalka. I'm sorry. 
um, should I stay or should I go by the class material girl by Madonna every breath you take by the police Africa by Toto um, running up that hill because I know everyone's been listening to that song so now the thing is I do remember hearing that song like a long time ago maybe on and off on the radio but since I've been hearing it a lot more when I was watching Stranger Things of season 4 I thought oh yeah I remember this song this is a good song and even seeing how it was you know playing through like in the show of a certain part I thought wow this fix this really fits in with it perfectly so yeah I just I just love it and finally, what's your ideal day in Hawkins like? Play DD with Hellfire and Club, a mall photo shoot with Max and Eleven, going to a basketball game with Lucas and Mike, watching a movie with Steve and Robin, going on a double date with Nancy and Jonathan. Um, literally, just give me no. Literally just giving Bo a hug because the boy needs it. Yes, he does need a big hug. But I would say I would watch a movie with Steve and Robin. Okay, so here are the three characters that I'm combined with. So. Let's see, Joy's son, Max Moon, Erica Rising. Okay, so I know with Sun, Moon, and Rising, they're, it's not their last names. So, Joyce, Max, and Erica. Wow. Okay, so Joyce is the sun, Max is Moon, and Erica is Rising. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I like that. Um, yeah, I actually like this result. Okay, so it says here, you're a human firecracker. Thank you. You're bold, confident, and just a little sarcastic. Well, yeah, I am. <laughs> when you set your mind to something, there's no stopping you. True that. People might call you stubborn, but you get the job done and never back down from a challenge. Exactly. Like, that is exactly me! How did the quiz know? Oh wait, I had to answer the question. So, so that was challenging. Okay, so, I actually like that. So, Joyce, Max, and Erica, three female characters, and very good female characters, in fact. So, yeah, and the way it was describing I completely agree 100% and if you guys want to take this quiz of which three Stranger Things um, are, are you of, of a combination then I will leave the link in uh, not the description but in the comments so you can check that out and you know take the quiz yourself and let me know which results you got. So yeah this was quite fun although I know last time I did a quiz, I had something with me and I did a taste test. Now, um, I'm not going to do, excuse me, I'm not going to do that now or anytime today, but I mean if you want to see something like that, like a fun, maybe short um, taste test kind of video, like whether it's a taste test on um, a certain candy or anything like that, let me know. I will do that for sure because when I did the taste test um, right after the Jurassic Park quiz, um, it was actually quite interesting and I think that was fun. So, And I just wanted to point out that now specifically when I was mentioning how the blue and purple Skittles were the ones that tasted bad, it's not because they are bad, it's because it's, it's kind of like this, no matter which flavor you pick, now 
Now with each flavor, there are going to be some that won't taste like the flavor you hope it would taste because it will have this really awful taste to it and I don't know how to describe it but somehow if you keep choosing the, the Skittles, at some point you will get the flavor of that Skittle. Like if it says, um, I forgot which ones, but so let's say if you have two Skittles and they're the same color and the same flavor then that means that if you t take one then that means only one of them will taste bad or like have this awful taste but once you eat the other one that one will actually taste like the flavor that it says it is so just want to point out that so that's why that's why when I did had the purple and blue Skittle in that video that's why I was saying, oh, I'm not going to try these ones because these ones are bad. No, they're not bad themselves because no one purposely made the blue and purple Skittle made it taste bad. You know, purposely, it's just that it just happened like that because it just happened to, to taste awful. But let's say if I had picked another purple Skittle or another blue Skittle, it would have tasted like... The, the flavor like I hoped it would. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out because <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have made that quite clear. So I think I just assumed. So yeah, just wanted to say that. So like I said, if you want to see anything more like that, if you want to see some uh, taste test kind of video, um, I will do that. Although I don't know would I may do that again? I mean, who knows? I could do that on Halloween. You know? Maybe I could do it on Halloween. Or, yeah, maybe not just on Halloween, but who knows? Maybe I could do it maybe... Maybe bef sometime before or sometime like a day or two days after Christmas. Like, maybe taste testing things with um, seasonal flavors and what I mean by seasonal is like if I had something that had like a peppermint flavor or peppermint mocha or or a, like a gingerbread type you know like a gingerbread flavor of a um, snack or something then that's something I think I, I'll be willing to do like say maybe before Christmas like maybe a week before Christmas or maybe a day or two days after Christmas, but either way, I think that'll be fun because I think I saw this and I really want to try this. But I think last year, I don't know how long they've been doing this, but I just saw that they had, I think, a gingerbread um, flavor Oreos. And the thing is, I love Oreos, and of course, I I do like the original, but I also love like the flavor of Oreos, like the mint ones and the other ones so there's other like flavor oreos especially the cream part of the oreo which you know each one has a different flavor so yeah and that's the thing i love you know trying something new um you know of different flavors you know whether it's something sweet spicy salty but the only thing i don't like is sour i don't like sour foods now I, I like pickles, I do, and here's a weird thing, I know pickles can be maybe quite sour, maybe a bit, in their own way, but the thing is I only like to eat pickles by themselves, I don't like it like slice, slices of pickles in my food, like not in my burger, not my cheeseburger, not um, that in anything else like in my food if i eat it by itself yes i don't mind if, if there's pickles in my food i i don't know i don't quite like that but you know that's okay I, there's something that all of us don't like when it comes to something and, and that's one of them and i don't like ketchup either <laughs> it's weird that i don't like ketchup but i'm like tomato sauce like if it's tomato sauce like in um, like lasagna or pasta, you know, like any kind of pasta, like any type of pasta um, type of 
meal or you know any type of dish I'm okay with that I'm completely okay with that but ketchup itself is just uh, I think there's just a little bit too much of vinegar which I don't like so yeah but like I said when it comes to trying new things of food like what if it's something salty but not too salty or when it comes to something sweet or spicy I love it but when it comes to sour things I, I don't I I don't have I don't really have that kind of taste you know for for sour things like I said pickles is different but <laughs> but anything else that's like sour sour like oh no 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 and I don't know how I got off topic but I am sorry so I anyway just thought if you wanted to know that then now you know so <clears throat> So that is all for today and to see more like this of more quiz videos and movie content then please subscribe, like the video and leave a comment down below on what you thought about this video and what result did you got from the quiz because I'm curious to know. So anyway, um, that's all for today and I'll see you at the movies.